So, hi guys. Um, oh, I just turned on my printer. That's creepy. Okay. So I decided to make a video because I haven't. Okay. So I decided to make a video because I haven't in a long time. Um, once again, I don't know if the lighting's okay. You probably can't see me. Um, let's see what's going on in my life. I work a lot. There's not very many building managers this year, semester, so I work more hours than I usually do at SU, but that's okay because I can do homework. Um, and I also work at the restaurant, but hopefully I'm not working any more Saturdays ever again after this past weekend. Um, so yeah, work. Not a very exciting topic, so we're going to move on. This semester in general, I am ready for this semester to be over. I hate this semester. I hate everything about this semester. I hate all of my classes. Um, I am really excited for The Good Body again. Um, I'm actually co-directing it with Pearsa, and that's going to be in November, so if you guys can come home that weekend at all, it's the first weekend of November, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th. It's going to be really, really awesome. I'm really excited. It's a really good play. Um, it's <laughs> I play a 40-year-old Jewish woman named Carol who gets vaginal rejuvenation surgery for her husband, Harry. So, um, it's going to be really fun. I'm really excited. Um, I already have, like, half my script memorized because I'm excited. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be awesome. So I really hope that, like, some of you guys can come or you'll be around. Um, and then I am officially applied to all of my grad schools. There's nothing I need to send. All of my statements of purposes, all my curriculum vitas, all of my, everything is sent. Everything is where it needs to be, with the exception of, like, my recommendations for my professors. I don't have control over them. They send them in whenever they want to. But all of my stuff is in and done, and I don't ever have to worry about it, and I'm so excited. Except a little terrified, because now I have to wait till March to find out if I get accepted. So my final, my final list of applications was University of Maryland, Towson University, The Ohio State, Rutgers, Penn State, Lock Haven. Um, all for women's studies with the exception of Penn State, which is women's studies in English. And I was like really hesitant to do that program because I didn't want to do English, but now I'm kind of like really getting into my English major and I really like English, so I'm really leaning heavily towards Penn State now. And I'm like and I can study African American literature there as my special like as my specialty and I'm really interested in African American literature and everything that goes along with that. And so my capstone my capstone paper is going to be on um which I need to start doing. <laughs> my capstone paper is on um cultural vernaculars such as black English vernacular and Chicano English. Um my paper is going to focus on how in America we've like developed this hierarchy of language. Like it's not enough that you can just speak English now. Now you have to like speak st st standard English. I mean, if you speak in this country with a heavy accent, you know, you're like labeled, you know, as an immigrant or whatnot. So like it's going to focus on, <laughs> it's kind of complex, okay, it's going to focus on how that social hierarchy, how that attitude, how those attitudes um, reflect the exclusion of cultural vernaculars in English curriculums. So basically I'm arguing that the social hierarchy which has developed in the United States around language is the reason that our public school systems are not teaching us cultural vernaculars, even though it's very useful that we learn other cultures' vernaculars, not even just because of, like, cultural, like, discrimination, but just, it's just important. To only learn English texts is just, is stupid, in my opinion. So I'm very interested in issues of the canon and everything, um, so which is why I really want to focus on African American literature at grad school, and I was actually on the Penn State web, Penn State website, and there's one of the professors, like, one, uh, Dr. Bell is, like, extremely interested in black English vernacular, and another one of the professors, I think it was Dr. King, is really interested in, like, black feminist literature. So I was like, hello, these are, like, my people. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of, like, hoping I get into Penn State now, and we'll probably go into debt if that happens. My phone's vibrating. Someone cares about me. Probably just Twitter. Story of my life. Um, yes, I'm crossing off a list of things I wanted to talk about. Um, hold on a second. Okay.
I just wanted to make sure that my battery wasn't dead and I was talking to Dylan. So, I'm really excited because the street fair is on Saturday and the Bloomsburg Fair is this week. And I think, I, I feel like I'm really on this I love Films Grove Crusade lately because lately, like I'm just so excited for like all the little things that, <laughs> like the street fair and the Bloomsburg Fair and I didn't get to go to the Bloomsburg Fair last year so I, I'm just really excited to see the animals and get a milkshake and eat a progy. And <laughs> so... Yeah, oh, I know what I want to show you. Maybe my mom might have taken it. I hope not. Damn it. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll show you later because it's not in here. Um, I wanted to show you a copy of my first Hitchener poster, which is up. Um, it's blue and it has like statistics of how many times like the word fatic, dyke, homo, and that's all gay are used on Twitter. And that's really exciting. And I just got my second one posted, po uh, printed at the print shop, so that one go is going to go up in October. And I took um, text from last night and um, I took text from last night and then I say, like, I can't show you. I wish you could see my screen. I could show you, but that might be crappy. Anyway, next time I'll see you guys, I'll just, like, bring them to show you, because I think they look really cool, and I'm really proud of them. Um, and probably the next time I see you, I'll have all of them printed. Um, but yeah, like, I have quotes like, put your penis in her, you must, and God, I just love slightly in insecure guys with hearts of gold and giant penises, and do you want to get some effing pussy tonight? Then dress like it. And so, like, I have, like, quotes like that, and then I say, language breeds disrespect and sexism. Like, think before you text, tweet, post, and speak. So, that's this month's poster, and I'm pretty excited. And I actually, like, my Hitchner is, like, going really well. And the CDSJ has, like, this bulletin board up about my Hitchner poster with this huge-ass picture of me on it, and it's creepy. Every time I walk by, I'm like, oh, that's me. However, at the same time, I don't know if this is conceited, but I'd really like to take a picture of it so that, like, I have, that I have it, because, like, I don't know. Like, it's cool, but it's also really creepy. Like, I don't like it, but at the same time, it's, like, nice that someone cares. <laughs> but, I don't know. I just feel like it'd be really conceited for me to, like, take a picture of, like, a bulletin board about myself. I just, that just seems really... I mean, at least I didn't make the bulletin board. But, okay. I'm getting... Oh, I want to show you this. So, this my grandma gave me for my birthday. Um, it is my mom's cup from the 70s. And I, my grandma gave it to me for my birthday, and I'm so freaking psyched. It's awesome. I love it, actually. The night I got it, I took it to the bar. Allison and Tara came, and, uh, and Kelly, and we went to the bar, and I made them make me a Long Island in it. <laughs> and it's beautiful. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I had a good birthday. Um, here's one of my birthday gifts. Katie. Yeah. Love of my life. My room's really messy right now, so don't look. But, yeah. That's it. I feel like I talked really fast, and I didn't say everything, but whatever. Okay. I love you guys, and I miss you, and I can't wait until we can have, like, a reunion. Yeah. As soon as possible.